I present a new technique for explantation and exchange of a plate haptic intraocular lens. The patient had had initial surgery carried out elsewhere 18 months earlier with a multifocal toric plate haptic intraocular lens and presented requesting exchange of this lens. First of all, several paracentesis are fashioned at various locations in order to allow accessibility of the lens inside the capsular bag. The main incision is fashioned in three steps and is then enlarged to over three millimeters to facilitate eventual explantation. Soft shell technique is used with a dispersive and then a cohesive viscoelastic. The 30 gauge cannula is unable to separate the lens from the anterior capsule but rather a 27 gauge needle on a dispersive viscoelastic is used to viscodissect the anterior capsule away from the intraocular lens uh, in various locations. Once the potential space has been created then a blunt cannula can be used to inject more dispersive viscoelastic uh, in various locations to ensure that the lens is mobile beneath the fibrosed anterior capsule. The mushroom tip is ideally configured in order to facilitate explantation of the lens, which here I entitle mushroom tip and flip. Here in slow motion, you can see that the undulation at the tip of the mushroom tip is under the intraocular lens and beneath the anterior capsule. Force is then placed directly at the equator of the intraocular lens so that each plate haptic can be easily maneuvered outside the capsular bag. Here more cohesive viscoelastic is inserted in order to deepen the anterior chamber. A uh, bimanual technique is used with these coaxial micro instruments in order to bisect the intraocular lens uh, before explantation. Another option is to divide the lens into four pieces in a similar fashion. More viscoelastic is then used to inflate the capsular bag and deepen the anterior chamber. And here a three-piece intraocular lens is used with the leading haptic into the capsular bag. The optic is then positioned into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is then dialed into the capsular bag. Stromal hydration is then carried out for the paracentesis and a single tenon nylon suture is placed in the main incision before removing the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber, the capsular bag and behind the intraocular lens. At the end of the case, the lens is nicely positioned into the capsular bag. Thank you very much for your kind attention.